Well, back at Southbourne. Going to go down there. Got to walk just down there. A little bit different place than Southbourne than I normally go. I normally go further down there. But I'm meeting up, meeting up with Mark Williams and uh, his van's already over there somewhere or another. Who knows where it is? But he's here somewhere. So, uh, yeah, it's still pretty busy on the beach. So, uh, might have to wait a little while before the old uh, bathers get away and uh, off home. But, yeah, can't wait. Looking forward to it. Let's see what happens, eh? Well, folks, here I am on the beach now, Southbourne. It's a sunny old day, plenty of people out, as I said earlier. And uh, yeah, we're out fishing. Rig wise, we've got uh, a two hook clip down. And uh, what else we got? We've got a pulley dropper as well. Pulley dropper with mackerel, the chance of a bass, maybe a turbot, who knows. And the ragworm out there for, again, bass, and hopefully some sole, actually. Um, got. Uh, a few anglers down here. You've got Mark Williams in the distance and his friend as well. Um, and there's a few more anglers beyond that as well and the same behind, behind me as well. So there's a few down here. It's, it's just a matter of uh, trying to get in between all the sort of uh, sunbathers and all the rest of it. They're, they're slowly going now. It's seven o'clock in the evening, so it's time for a bit of fishing. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully have a bit of peace and uh, see what happens. I'll show you the rigs a little bit later on because I've, I've, I've just made a slight adjustment and I want to, I'm just sort of trying it out. Um, I was getting a few tangles and uh, yeah, so I'll show you those a bit later on but hopefully I'll be showing you some fish. Well, I thought I'd quickly show you the rig. As I said earlier on, I'd say it's a little bit different. So just a pulley dropper with Termalink from the main, Gemini pulley, and then uh, onto the business end, obviously the, the dropper portion. And I've got a small um, trace, really, but I've put tubing on it. I've managed to get the tubing over the Termalink. Hopefully you can see that. And it seems to, stop it getting tangled around like that and then into the actual wires. I've had it before where the line just keeps getting tangled around when you retrieve in sort of thing. And at the moment it seems to be, because I've made it longer than the actual weight, it's stopping it wrapping around. Um, seems to be working so far, which is really handy. I didn't know if I would get the actual tubing over the terminal link, but I managed to do it. N nothing too uh, hard either. So one busting the ball over it. But yeah, there we are. It seems to work for me. And uh, I've also done it on the, the two hook clip down rig as well. Put the tubing on as well. Um, just to sort of try and help it move away from the rig body and keep it from, unta uh, from tangling up. And so far, again, it seems to be working. So I'm, I'm going to persevere with the, uh, the, the uh, tubing and, and keep with it and uh, see how we get on. But as yet, second cast in, no fish. But it's still early days. It's still quite a lot of daylight. I reckon when it starts getting to the old dusky, we're going to start having some, uh, some bites. But Mark Williams and his mate down there, they've had a couple of bass, I believe, each. So it's all the playful. So let's get back to it. Well, I thought I'd show you the uh, other rig. So wait two hook clip down and uh, yeah so again a bit of the tubing just to try and hang it off a little bit I've done both lines as well again it does seem to help a little bit you still will get a bit of a, a wrap round but works for me and the sun is on its way. Once that goes behind that hill, it's stuck in a bit of dusk. That will be the, the start of hopefully the action. Well, I've got my first inquiry. And am I gonna pick this up? 
and I think it's on the ragworm, I think. Because I can't remember which one's which. But I'm guessing it is. I hope you're not getting too much wind. I'm just going to give it a little pull in and see what happens. I've got a gripper on, so it's going to be digging in a little bit anyway. Right, I'm just going to change the rob because I've crossed over. So I'm just going to re-cross them back and see what happens. I'm waiting for the nod. And I'm waiting. Let's reel this, tighten this up a bit. Have I missed it? Have I missed it? I'm going to reel up. I'm going to reel up. So, I've picked up A little place. There we go. Only a little dab, but yeah, you know, there's my hand, there's the place. Gives you some sort of idea. But nevertheless, it's a fish. There's no blank. Lovely looking place. Look at that. Beautiful, weren't they? Get off! Get out of it! Anyway, I'm gonna get it unhooked and get it back in the water. Well, if you can see the, the groin there, just a little bit away out from that, there's a gully. And beyond that is a bank, and then obviously you get into the deeper water beyond that. So I've kept the worm baits at distance, so probably around about the back end of the, the bank. But I've just dropped the uh, mackerel bait in the gully. So I'm hoping there may be a bass coming through the gully, or, or possibly a ray maybe, who knows. But, I've done distance with the mackerel, I've come short this time round and see how we get on. Mark and his friends, they've come short as well and won at distance. So we've got different uh, variety of uh, distances out there to see what's going to happen. And it's just starting to get dark, just starting. Don't show in the camera, but it's just starting to. Look, keep an eye on the rods now as well. Well, I dropped the mackerel one short in the gully, like I said, and I caught a fish. Now let me show you what I caught. I didn't even know I had it on, but what a lovely surprise. Let me go and get it. Look at that little beauty, little turbo, little turbo. Only little dinky one. Let me get it to him. See, ooh, palm is sort of size of your palm of your hand, something like that. But nevertheless, it's a turbo. Anyway, over the moon with that because I don't think I've had a turbo here yet. But size my hand in the gully, a bit of mackerel. Happy days. Let's get it back in the water.
Well, what do you reckon I'm going to do next? Drop it short, of course. Drop it short. Mackerel, drop it short. Hopefully a bigger turbo. But that's ice. There we are. Another little baby one. Let's put him back. Hey! Look at that. There we go. He's gone. Yep, he's gone for another day. Well, the bites are really picked up now, and especially on the worm. I just had a cracking bite on this rod. It's going to pull into it. See if there's anything there. Like I say, definitely had a lovely bite. Right, let's see what happens to this. Let's see what happens. No, up there. It was definitely a cracking bite, though. That's the way it goes. And get baited back up and back out there because it's certainly starting to pick up now, that's for sure. And I love it when it starts fishing like this. It's like thick and fast, you know, bites and bites and bites. It's great stuff. I really enjoy it. On the top hook as well. Shame I missed that. It was a lovely bite and all. That's the way it goes. Some lovely worm again. Thank you very much, Kosham Angling. Always does the business. Good quality worm. Never let me down. I can't turn this round quick enough. I suppose if I was a match fisherman, I'd, I'd be unclipping, clipping back in, wouldn't I?
only gone small on this one, only small. Wow, nice little bass. Happy days, that'll do me. Only a little tiddler, but he's the bass. Well, got myself another species. It's really performing tonight, Southbourne. Happy days on this one. There's a sole. That's what I was after. A nice little sole. There's my hand. So, yeah, just a bit bigger than the, your hand. It's a little slip, but nice to see. It's lively as hell. So, I really want to get him back. I'm going to get him back in the water. There we are, in the bucket. So, yeah, so far, I've had three plays. One bass, one turbot, and now the sole. And the only thing I've had on the mackerel is the turbot. No rays yet. Got about half hour left, somewhere around that. And that's it, I'm gonna knock it on the head. And uh, got loads of worm left, so uh, I'll probably give it another go tomorrow, somewhere else, and uh, see what happens. But I'd, I'd like to go on the shore, really. I don't really wanna go on the boat. I fancy going on the shore. And uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll bring you maybe a ray next, who knows? But if not, it is what it is, but we'll carry on. Well, that's it, folks. The session's over. Well, I've had a fabulous night on Southbourne Beach. Really been great, it is. There's been some good fishing. Steady, but we've had some species. That's the main thing, and different ones. So, uh, yeah, get yourself down to Southbourne. You know, there's what, soul? Bass, turbot, place, what more could you ask for? You, well, so, uh, anyway, that's it. I wish you could see the stars. Absolutely a cracking sky out there tonight. Clear as clear. Anyway, don't forget, give us the old thumbs up. Do appreciate the thumbs up. Any comments you want to say as well, more than up for any comments, good or bad, preferably good. And uh, all importantly, Give us the old uh, subscribe uh, button of tick uh, to help us get the old numbers up. I'm sort of just pipping just away from that thousand subscribers, and everyone likes to be at a thousand or hit the thousand. Um, yeah, plenty more to come. Tight lines, everyone. See you soon.